Welcome to your last music home learning. And guess what? We're not learning, we're just saying goodbye. So on this video, you're gonna find a bunch of little clips of different um, videos that I've made that are funny or that are cute, that kind of make me think about you. A lot of times I make those videos as purely for you guys. And so I wanted to kind of put them all in this video to kind of say goodbye. It's been a crazy year. Um, I definitely wanna tell you that all of you who have watched the YouTube videos, have done your Quaver assignments, you have kept me going. Cause those take a lot more work than they may seem. The videos take me all week long to record and plan and edit and do all that stuff. And so when you like it or you do your Quaver assignment, it makes my heart full and keeps me going. It's like gasoline, like a car, but gas room is browning. So thank you so much. Um, if you've done all your work, I appreciate it. If you only got like part of it done, thank you for trying. Haven't got anything done. I understand it's been a crazy time um, and we didn't expect to end the year this way. So with that said, your grades, I was very flexible on. So um, so that I love you. I know we're all going through different things. And those of you that have given me 120%, I appreciate it. Hopefully these videos have kept you going and made your heart full and made you remember that I'm still thinking about you because that's really the most important thing for me as a teacher. It's not about the music. It's about letting you know that you're loved, that you're amazing, and make sure you never forget that. And that you can do anything, anything is possible. With that said, third, fourth, and fifth graders that are gonna be that way next year, Sheffield Singers. Sheffield Singers is a choir that meets twice a week after school with me. And we sing at ceremonies at school. We do performances at the school, different concerts. We also go and sing the national anthem, some of the hockey games, they do that again next year. We do a lot of different things and you get to spend more time with me twice a week. So um, when school starts next year, probably about October, we will um, do signups for Sheffield Singers, maybe a little earlier, depending on some stuff. So be on the lookout if you are in third, fourth or fifth grade next year to join Sheffield Singers. I think that's all. Um, oh, subscribe. This channel, be sure you subscribe. If you can't subscribe, you have an account, have your parents subscribe because over the summer I will post silly songs or books or if I have new ideas of things or maybe just a silly video, I'll can you posting things throughout the summer. I may take a few weeks off though because these videos definitely take a lot. I need a brain break. But then I'll be back and I will post some things for fun. Not that you have to do them, but just kind of as like a little, you know, thing for you to look at. Um, so be sure you subscribe to this channel so that you're the first to find out about anything because I don't know if teams will be up this summer. I don't know what's going on with that. So if you subscribe, you'll see all of the new videos. Okay? I think that's all. If it's not, I'll have to make another video. Um, I'm gonna add a couple of short little video clips because they're fun on here. Um, told you that I love you and that I miss you. Have an amazing summer. Be safe. Remember, each and every day and moment is what you make it. If something bad happens, it's up to you to make it a good thing. Like this whole experience has has its challenges, but focusing on you and how much I love you has kept me going and staying positive. I love you. I can't wait to hug you next school year. Have an amazing and safe summer. Fifth graders, I'm not done with you yet. So normally this time of year, I sit on the floor and for a couple of like a couple lessons at the end of class and we talk about your fears and things that you're scared of about middle school. And it takes me a while to get you to open up. And I tell you some of my stories from middle school, which I started to kind of do early, which is kind of funny because I'm glad I did. Um, of things that either I was scared of, like things I thought were silly to be scared of, or um, things that did happen in middle school. Middle school is different, nothing to be scared of. And I just wanted you to know that we all go through it. So um, normally I give you, we have a couple of lessons like at the end of class of just family discussions, which we're missing out on. So I've decided I'm gonna take my phone and I'm gonna go sit on the bed in the guest room office thing that I'm sitting in. And we're gonna have a little chit chat, but I've made it shorter because I can ramble, I know you're surprised, to three things I need you to remember as you're leaving me, okay? So stay tuned, go grab a drink or some snacks, let's talk. So first off, kind of a weird thing, I realized today as I was getting ready, this bedroom is the bedroom that I was in when I was your age. I grew up in this house, and when my grandmother passed, we inherited the house. 
So we've been staying here to take care of my grandfather and kind of fix up the house a little bit. So the room that I've been doing all my videos in, my office was actually the same room that I used to sit and do homework in and cry at the end of a hard day was this exact room. I'm gonna cry right now. I'm not gonna do it. I may cry in this video. You just have to get over it. Um, so I have narrowed my list, my long discussion of middle school to three words of advice. Are you ready? This was hard for me to narrow it down to three. I think there are three important points. Point number one, wear deodorant. In fact, I should label this deodorant. You should wear it and you should also bring some travel deodorants. Put one in your book bag and put one in your gym locker. Okay. You don't want to be the smelly kid. There's so much going on in middle school. Being the smelly kid, would not be a good idea. And you're gonna start smelling. With the other thing I always tell you, don't be the kid who wears the same clothes all day long. Like some kids layer for PE and like wear their gym clothes and then put clothes on top of it. No, cause you're wearing your stinky clothes all day long. Don't be stinky, okay? Now this also flip side of that, don't be the kid that brings cologne instead of deodorant and body spray and douses yourself because that's just covering up the stink. And no one likes a stinky kid that smells like they should be smelling good. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's the first advice, deodorant. Have one at home, put it in your backpack in case you forgot to put it on, and then also in your gym locker. I don't have a stand right now, guys, why it's a little shaky at points, I'm sorry. Okay, number two. He he he, Ms. Brown said two. Um, number two would be get active. And this is actually like my biggest point. And this is what I end on normally, but I'll end on something different. Um, be active in something. I don't care if it's music. I mean, obviously I would, I love that music, drama, any of that stuff, but sports get active on a team. I know you try out for them. So, you know, may not get on, that's okay. Um, I think they have a gearbook club. You can also make your own club. So say that you have a group of like five friends and you guys love to read and you want to do a book club. Go to a teacher and say, hey, we want to do a book club. Could you be our sponsor? And you can make your own club. I say to get active because this is how you find a group of friends that have similar interests. And you have an adult who is a sponsor of that group who you can go and confide in. They're not gonna be like Ms. Browning because no one, like me. I'm just kidding. But there's a good chance you're gonna find a new Miss Browning and someone that you can talk to. And by being a part of a sports team or being a part of a club or organization, you will automatically have a adult that hopefully is someone that you can talk to. So one is deodorant, two, get involved and this actually goes from middle school right into high school because another thing on a side note not that you're thinking this far advanced some of you are because i know you but um but colleges you guys will be looking at colleges in a few years crazy and they look for how active you are miss browning had a ridiculous amount of things on my resume for college because yeah. so even if your grades aren't perfect if you're super active that sometimes helps balance it all out so I'm not saying make Fs, but like if you have a C somewhere, but you're active in things, then that helps out. Okay, last but not least, I'm trying to make this fast because I know these videos have been long. Okay, and so I'm gonna cry. Never forget how amazing you are. Do not let another child make you feel like you're not good enough. They can't judge you. And a lot of times I've told you this, those kids that are judging you are actually judging themselves 3,000 times more. It doesn't mean that it's okay, but when kids are mean to you and it's hard, ask my mama, I when I'm crying many a day, stop and think in your head how sad it is that that person has to pick on you to make themselves feel better. And I know that it's easier to hear that than to actually follow it in the moment, but in the end, it's gonna be much better if you're able to walk away. Take a deep breath and realize that that person doesn't know you. You are absolutely amazing. 
It's not about being the prettiest girl in school or the most handsome guy in school. You can think it is, but ask your parents about those kids that were really cute when they were littler. I won't because, yeah, but they can tell you. Um, a lot of the kids that were those, you know, the most attractive, I remember there's some girls I remember wanting to be like when I was in like middle school. And now I've seen pictures or maybe their personalities kind of weren't very attractive and they're not anymore. So it's not about being the prettiest girl at school or the most good looking guy at school. Um, don't let them make you feel like you're not worthy. Just smile at them and let it go. It hurts. I'm not telling you it's not gonna hurt, but just know Miss Browning believes in you. You are incredible kids. I am beyond upset that I'm not spending my last few months of school with you. Um, but just so that I'm always here for you. Look, I'm crying. Um, you guys got this though, okay? Keep your head up. If you ever need a pep talk, you know where to find me. Not in this room, hopefully. Hopefully in my classroom. But um, message me, email me. You, you teachers need for emails. Email me. I have no problem stopping what I'm doing to make you remember how worthy you are and how amazing you are. Don't let anybody make you think otherwise. I love you. Good luck in middle school and wear deodorant. As we go on, we remember all the times we spend together. As our lives change. Do what happened to my heart? What happened to your heart? Well, when the first time I told you. I, when I saw you, my heart fell in love with you. Dear Evan Hansen, today is going to be a good day. And here's why, because today, today at least you're you, and that's enough. Want to know a secret? I love you. You said I loved you one more time. Why are you leaving me? I'm going to miss you.